Hi, I'm Nick Warnford and I'm an actor in Prom Fever. Sure, my journey with the National Youth Film Academy began about three years ago um, when my housemate who I lived with did the course, he did the set ready course and he was raving about it for ages. So it's always been on my radar to do. Um, and then I moved down to London, which is where they're based. And I just thought there's no sort of better time to do it than when I've moved down to London to study at drama school. Um, because next year, when if I have the, the course running, I will be at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival with my drama schools. I can't do it then. And the year after, I'll be busy with drama school as well. So I just thought now is the best time to to get started and to, to do something I've wanted to do for a while. So, yeah. Um, I think the challenges for me personally for my role is to try and find the balance in my character between um, between his shyness and between the want to not be shy because I think he's a shy person who doesn't really fit into the group that he wants to fit into but he's trying desperately to be a different version of himself in order to get into the group and I think finding the balance between those two things will be the most difficult but I've got a good team around me so we'll get through it we'll be fine I think it is the fact that it's an ensemble film it's there's each character has an equal weight in the film and has an equal story to tell if that makes sense um each character furthers the plot each character has their own character development to use a lot of drama schooly terms um so yeah that excites me it's not just focused on one actor's journey with a couple of other actors who come in and out it's about a group of people wanting to do something as a group and do something for that group and yeah everybody's got an equal an equal place in the film so that yeah that really excites me um yeah Obvious choice, I think, but my character, Pooch, I identify with a lot because, um, as I mentioned before, he sort of trying to find his voice. And I know what it feels like to go to school and um, to sort of want to fit in and to sort of always be thinking, oh, well, how am I going to change this or that or do this or that to try and fit in? So I see a lot of myself in Pooch. And I think everybody has that sort of a little bit when they go to school. Um, so, yeah, I definitely identify with Pooch's sense of wanting to fit in and wanting to be part of the group and not sort of be left behind. Um, so yeah, I identify with my character, which I suppose is going to make it really interesting to to play. Pooch is a different character. There's similarities and there's things that I can use to draw on from myself, for sure. Um, as, and I think that's helpful with any character. Um, but I also think it's not helpful to be too close to yourself. So um, I'll definitely be looking for the his individuality, but bringing bits of myself into it to try and to try and help yeah um no brainer for me oceans 11 100 percent um just because it's oceans 11 it's insane um the music the costumes the cinematography the, the script the actors in it it's just fantastic and i love how they blend um comedy with the as well so it's not all just a serious heist film and um, with a serious ending and a serious plot and everybody's quite straight faced through it there's a lot of comedic moments and a lot of characters making mistakes and taking the mick out of each other and i think there's some similarities with with our film prom fever um in terms of it's a heist film but it's got some light-hearted funny moments um between different characters so yeah oceans 11 100 percent Ten years, it's a long time. Um, I struggle to even look forward a few months, to be honest. Um, ten years time, I would love to be doing this um, professionally. I'd love to be working in films and in theatre and just in the industry generally. I find it fascinating, every sort of area of it. But my dream would to be a professional actor, 100%. And I'd love to have my own flat as well or my own house um, and definitely a couple of dogs. You can't live life without dogs, so... That's where I see myself in 10 years, hopefully. My main so my main focuses at the moment, to be honest, are Prom Fever and 
I work at drama school. So um, every term we have end of term showings, which is where we do a bunch of different scenes from different plays and different TV shows and things like that. Um, and we basically perform them at the end of term um, for the rest of the staff and students. And then in the third year, you perform them for agents and things and casting directors and people like that. So at the moment we're rehearsing for those. We have I've got five different scenes to be doing. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of work for that at the moment. And then I'm busying myself with the prom fever stuff. And then hopefully when things die down from drama school, I'll be able to reach out and get involved in more stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, um, I think this, the, the, the only struggle that I've had is sort of more a personal thing than an actual struggle. Um, I think coming from the Northeast and like sort of coming from Newcastle, there's not a massive sense um, there's not a massive sense that you can achieve in the theatre industry, in the film industry. There's a big com theatre community, but it's quite closed off. Everybody sort of knows each other and everybody works on each other's things, which is nice and it's great. But there's always, I always have this feeling in the back of my head that it was going to be really hard to, to break into the industry and to actually do anything or to even get into drama school or to get onto um, a course with the Film Academy. Um, however, as I actually applied and started to work and started to busy myself with things and meet people, I realized that it's actually, it's easy for anyone really. If you just want to do it and you want to pursue that, then you can do it no matter where you're from. Um, so yeah, that was a, it was a block at first, but not so much anymore once I've realized what the world's actually like. So yeah, it's the same. It's the same. There's, there's a couple of great theaters and there's great work put on, but it's not really, it stays in Newcastle, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. It doesn't really travel anywhere. So, yeah. All I would say is just busy yourself um, with as much as you can. Um, I sort of spent a lot of time wondering why things weren't happening. And then I realized it's because you've actually got to be hungry and go out and do it. So just busy yourself with as many things as you can. Go and see as many shows, as many films, as many TV shows as you can. It doesn't have to be work as long as you're interested and you're watching things and you're doing things, even if it's one line in a play or one line in a film, or even if you're helping out at a rehearsal, anything that you can possibly do to gain the slightest bit of knowledge, just do it. Because the more info you have and the more you see, the more you'll learn. Um, and also just believe in your ability as well I suppose because I think the moment you stop doing that you'll find that you might not have anything to do whereas if you think you can do it and you believe you can do it I'm sure you can so yeah two B's believe in yourself and what was the other one I said busy yourself yeah two B's or oh, not two B's that was a bad joke <laughs>